Hey everyone, Nick from Flowdash here. Today I'm going to show you how we can, uh, in Flowdash, link two workflows together based on the value that's in a, one of the columns of uh, those two workflows. Uh, now, what do I mean by that? Uh, sometimes in your database, you might have a, say, table of companies and a separate table of contacts at those companies. And the way they're linked together is that the contacts have perhaps like a company ID column. And that's what establishes that relationship. Now, Flowdash has uh, relationships built in through a feature that we call workflow links. And if you haven't used that before, we'll cover it briefly in this video. Uh, but on top of that, I'm going to show you how you can automatically have those records linked together based on uh, of the value that's in one of those columns. Uh, and also we'll be importing some data via the uh, CSV import feature. So we'll, we'll take a look at that as well. Uh, so let's dive into an example. Uh, what we're going to try to build here is a basic uh, CRM. So we have uh, some accounts, various companies that we're working with and uh, contacts at those companies. So I'm in my uh, accounts workflow right now for each company. I have a company name, the industry they're in, their mailing address, phone, website, uh, as well as kind of where they are in the sales funnel. And each company uh, has an account ID uh, that's already here. Now, I've also created a contacts workflow uh, that's currently empty, but the kind of information I want to track for each uh, of my contacts is their first name, last name, title, phone number, email, and of course, which company they're at, which we're going to uh, have uh, via the account ID field. And I already have these contacts that I've uh, perhaps gotten from another system, maybe my own database, maybe uh, some other tools. Uh, so I already have that data that we're going to import uh, via CSV, but we're going to first b establish that relationship between these two workflows since right now they're kind of just two separate workflows. So we can do this from either direction. I'll start from the account side, but you could equally do this on the contact side. We're going to jump into settings and there's a tab called linked workflows. And this is where you can define the relationship between accounts and contacts. So I'm going to click new linked workflow. And this asks us what workflow do you want to link with? I have a few in my account here, but I'm going to click the contacts account. And next, it's asking us what's the relationship type. Uh, so we can support one-to-one like -one relationships, one-to-many, many-to-many. In our case, uh, every account will have many contacts. So I'm going to choose one-to-many here. The next two questions are asking, what do I want to name this relationship from both directions? So from the uh, account to the contact direction, I'm going to call that contacts. And from the other direction, uh, maybe I'll call that uh, company. So I'll create that workflow link. And that's now established, uh, you know, if I dive into any one of these companies and go into their detailed record, you'll actually see uh, this, this section for the contacts. And of course it's empty um, because, you know, I had no records in that contacts table, uh, but I could create a new contact here and that would be linked to uh, this company. Uh, maybe I'll just very briefly give this a uh, capital here on the, on the layout. Um, but yeah, let's dive into how we're going to get our contacts imported. Uh, now, I'm going to bring in that contact information. Again, it has an account ID, uh, but Flowdash kind of manages the relationship between the different tasks in these workflows um, internally. And so we're going to have to instruct the contacts workflow that whenever a uh, account ID comes in, uh, that's what we want to use in order to establish the link. So we're going to do that by creating a new automation. We're going to say that... Uh, this is, we'll call this automation, uh, say automatically link contact to account. And we'll say the trigger is whenever uh, a field is updated, uh, we're going to say that whenever that account ID is, is modified. Uh, and also we're going to do that whenever the contact is created. So the contact is going to come in with an account ID, uh, or if I change that account ID later, I want this automation to run. And the thing I'd like to run is I want to link existing tasks together. I'm going to choose the link. Again, that's that company link that we defined earlier. That's just the name uh, I gave it. And what it's saying is the tasks and accounts are going to be linked based on whether their ID matches this field from contacts. So I just have to select the appropriate field. And so here uh, we are saying that the account ID and contacts is going to map to the ID in accounts. And I'm going to say I also want to unlink any of the tasks that were previously linked whenever this changes. So I'll click apply and create. And right now my automation is live. So uh, if we start adding contacts to this workflow, uh, this automation should run for each one and automatically link each contact to the appropriate account. Uh, so let's try importing that CSV and see if this works. So I'm gonna import from CSV. Again, I already have 
uh, list of contacts. I'm going to upload that. Um, Flowdash is asking me how I want to map each field from the CSV headers to the workflow. I conveniently named them all the same, so it's automatically uh, figuring out how to map them. But uh, if they weren't the same, you could uh, always uh, select the appropriate field here. We'll preview the data. It looks like we're going to import 170 contacts. You can already see kind of the account IDs uh, here, how they're uh, split across the, the 50 companies. And so let's begin the import process now. And it looks like the import is done. So we're going to jump back to the contacts now. And it looks like my contacts were uh, correctly imported. Um, and if I were to dive into one of these contacts, we're looking at Versi, uh, we can also see the associated company. So it looks like that, that link was established correctly. Uh, maybe just to do some finishing touches on this, we'll, we'll change the uh, layout a little bit. I think it'd be nice, uh, let's give this you know, an uppercase title. I also don't need to see some of the fields from, um, from the account, maybe the company name and these would all be relevant, but I don't need some of those other fields. And then just very quickly, uh, I have a contact details page where I can see the information on this contact as well as their, the, the company that they belong to. And I can also jump quickly to the company account and from the company, I can see information about the company as well as all the contacts at that company. And similar to what I did um, on the other layout, maybe there's a few of these that I don't really need. Like for example, that account ID is a bit redundant, uh, but we can include all this other information here. Great, so now if I jump back to my accounts page, um, you know, any of these uh, accounts that I dive into, let's say uh, this company right here, uh, again, I've got my list of contacts, uh, my comments and so on, and just that, that link is now established between the contacts and accounts tables. So um, hope that was helpful. Hope that uh, you can use this to, to build a CRM or a similar uh, workflow for, for your business. And I'm curious to see what you build. Thanks.